Hello guys, my name is uh, Vlad Fkiop, I'm a senior SharePoint uh, uh, consultant at SharePoint. Um, today with me in the call is the CEO of SharePoint, uh, Sammy, and the product owner, Nitin. I'm very get glad, guys, to present you our latest uh, feature, which is Microsoft Teams integration and uh, uh, in SharePoint uh, uh, site. Um, this feature will be available from uh, the product update version 6.7. I would like to start by presenting you some intro information uh, regarding uh, Microsoft Teams, and I, then I will jump uh, into our SharePoint integration uh, and present you some options that uh, we, we have to integrate uh, Teams data in SharePoint sites. Uh, so, Microsoft Teams is a chat-based uh, communication tool used by uh, many companies. Um, you can think about uh, Microsoft Teams as a better version of uh, Skype or even uh, uh, a strong competitor of uh, Slack. So, uh, one, one of the reasons why uh, companies started to adopt uh, Microsoft Teams is that it is uh, integrated in Office 365. So whenever you get a subscription of uh, Office 365, you will get access to some of apps, some of the apps like uh, SharePoint, OneDrive, uh, Stream, and so on. And you, you will also get access to Microsoft Teams. So uh, one of the problems that uh, companies are facing right now uh, is that they don't have an option to integrate Teams data in uh, SharePoint uh, SharePoint intranet site. Uh, this is exactly what uh, we'll be very glad to help our customers with, to integrate Teams data in their SharePoint site and to create uh, easy links between SharePoint sites and uh, the Teams, uh, uh, Teams app. So let me show you uh, the Microsoft Teams app. Uh, so you have uh, the options to, to access the Teams app from multiple devices. Uh, there is a desktop app, as you can see it right now on my screen. Uh, there is a mobile app and also a web portal which you can use to, to access your, your Teams. Uh, as you can see, I'm already logged in with uh, my company credentials. So here on the left side, I can see uh, the Teams uh, uh, related to me, which I'm uh, a member of. Uh, if I expand one of the teams, I will see a couple of channels which were already created in order to uh, better organize the, the communication on different topics. Uh, here on this channel, um, you can also see that there is the concept of uh, threaded communication. So you can start uh, thread, thread uh, communication threads on, on any message. And also the, the very nice part from, uh, from this uh, channel uh, or the, the new uh, feature which Microsoft created is the possibility to add more functionality to these channels uh, by adding uh, so-called tabs or apps uh, here on the top. By default, you can have files, uh, like a central way to share files with uh, all the channel members. Uh, you can create uh, wiki pages and also you can add different kinds of apps from Office 365, like Planner or Power BI or Stream, or even um, third-party apps, like we'll have SharePoint uh, for Teams in a while. But uh, I suppose this will be another presentation for uh, this new feature. Uh, I will not add any new app here because uh, uh, in this channel, I already uh, have configured a few. Uh, you can see here Power BI, um, which uh, enables users to, sh to see different reports related to this channel. Um, I also configured a planner in order to be able to uh, manage the tasks directly from, from my Teams channel. So all, all this information like Teams, channels, uh, or, or tabs, uh, this information uh, are not right now available on the SharePoint intranet site. And this is exactly what uh, SharePoint uh, will be able to do uh, to give uh, 
to embed this information in SharePoint sites and to, to give uh, uh, easy links uh, to this uh, Microsoft Teams app. Okay, guys, uh, so let me show you how you can use SharePoint to embed Teams in your, uh, in your, uh, in your SharePoint sites. I will. I prepared a small demo for uh, for this uh, use case. I have a, a page uh, which was already customized using uh, uh, SharePoint. I will edit the page. I will also edit the web part, the SharePoint web part. I will choose a place to add my new Teams design element. Uh, click Insert. In the Office 365 tab, there's the Teams design element. Uh, click preview and that's it. Um, SharePoint is smart enough to uh, read directly the Teams because uh, Teams design element is uh, already integrated with uh, Microsoft Teams since they are in the same Office 365 uh, tenant. Guys, you can see here the default view of uh, Teams design element. There is a, a search bar you can use to search for a specific team. And also you can uh, expand each of these teams and see a couple of uh, uh, details of this team. As you can see here, you can have two options to open your team in Teams Online and Teams Desktop. You have an option to open the documents library uh, related to that specific team. You can check the channels, members, and uh, uh, tasks related to the current user. So if I'll go to the members, you'll see that clicking on each member, uh, you will be able to uh, open the Delve profile of, uh, of each member. Similarly, you can see the tasks associated to the current user. When clicking uh, one of the tasks, it, you will be redirected to the planner uh, app of, uh, of your Office 365. Also, similarly, the channels, you can expand the channels and see exactly what channels you have in your, uh, in your team. So this is the default view, as I said, and I would like to present you a few other options that you have uh, to configure your team's design element. As you can see here, you can choose by uh, displaying teams related to the current user or teams from the entire organization. In this case, I only have uh, the same teams in the entire organization, so we'll not see much difference. There is an option to expand tabs as well, as uh, I, I've been uh, showing you in the Teams uh, desktop app. So when you'll be on uh, a channel, you will be able to expand it and see the tabs or apps that were installed and configured on that particular uh, channel. Also, you can uh, show or not completed task for the current user. Let's click preview again. Go select one of the teams, select channels, and then, as you can see, we can expand again the channels and see the apps that uh, were configured on that uh, specific channel. In this case, we only have the default app, which is Wiki, and an option to uh, go to that specific channel by opening the Teams uh, desktop app. So as you can see, guys, there are many links that uh, will facilitate the very fast uh, access of uh, your team's data. You can also uh, go to uh, Delve profiles of your users. You can also go to the planner uh, directly from, uh, from your SharePoint site. Uh, let's click insert and see uh, the Teams app directly integrated with uh, the whole page. Click save.
And as you can see, this, these are uh, the teams from your organization and you have easy access uh, to all this information from your SharePoint site. Okay, guys, so this is how you can integrate SharePoint Teams design element in your SharePoint intranet. This demo was presented on, uh, on a SharePoint online page. And uh, I would like to present you now how you can do it on a SharePoint on-premise site. Uh, because uh, there are a few differences uh, between these two, uh, two apps. I will go to present you, I'm gonna present you um, the way you can embed teams in your on-prem site. I also prepared a page uh, on a SharePoint on-prem 2019 environment. I will edit this web part. I will insert in the same way the team's design element. And as you can see here, uh, I have a warning telling me that uh, I need to grant some permissions to SharePoint app in order to be able to uh, reach my teams from a specific tenant or Office 365 uh, uh, subscription. So I have to go to the integrations page. Okay guys, team's design element uh, uses Microsoft Graph in order to connect to a specific Office 365 tenant uh, to uh, access the Teams data from there. So I need to click connect and uh, log in with uh, the Azure application admin in order to be able to grant Microsoft Graph um, the required permissions to access my Teams. So I'll click connect. I will log in with my Azure application administrator. Now I have a list of uh, the permissions that I should grant for my graph access. I have to accept and grant them. And that's it. Now I can go back uh, to my page, refresh the page. I did the web part again and this insert teams element uh, on the page. As you can see, I don't have any warnings anymore. So that means my Teams design element for on-prem is already connected to a specific tenant where, which I used uh, to log in uh, with, for the Graph API uh, access. Click preview. And here are my uh, teams which are already integrated in the on-prem SharePoint site. By the way, on the on-prem version, I don't have options to, to see the members or uh, tasks or other options. I only have the options to uh, open the Teams app directly from SharePoint. That's it, I can click insert. Save the page. And here are my teams integrated in a SharePoint on-prem site. So as you can see, we managed to integrate Teams data into a SharePoint on-prem site. Then we have some advanced or other options that we can uh, use to 
further configure our uh, team's design element. As you can see, maybe the height of this element is too long and we, c we probably prefer to decrease the height of this element. Then we have the option to set a specific height for our element. By going to the settings of the element, we can choose a specific height, let's say 50%, click preview. And you, as you can see, uh, there is a scroll coming uh, up in the design. Click update and save the page again. As you can see now, our team's design element is uh, customized and uh, has a specific height, which we just set up in, uh, in the settings of the element. So next, I would like to present you our roadmap, what was our main focus on for this release and what's uh, the focus for, for the following one. So with this release, uh, we were concentrated on uh, creating uh, shortcuts and easy links between the SharePoint site and uh, the Teams, uh, Teams data and Teams app. Uh, we managed to uh, create an app compatible with Office uh, 365 SharePoint online sites and SharePoint 2019 uh, sites. We also managed to create all these links and easy access and also some uh, good uh, and nice design capabilities for the team's design element. For the upcoming uh, release, we will be focusing more on team's content and uh, also to create uh, a compatible version for 2030 and 2016. So we'll be, we have in our roadmap to create new team's design elements to show user tasks, documents, uh, and also uh, team's discussions. And uh, we will be adding also some new design improvements. That's it pretty much guys with what I was thinking to cover in this presentation. Thank you very much for listening and we'll come back with uh, other great features.